Well, good morning. No, we're not working on the van. I'm heading to work. It's a Friday and we haven't done anything in days. As you know, I like to release a video on a Saturday, but that doesn't leave me much time, considering I've got a lot of work to do here. Ow. If I can get this side of the kitchen working today, get these plumbed in, and get that tap up and running for them, then that'll be all right for the weekend, and then we might get to the van. Now don't hold me to that, it's only if I get done here in time. Otherwise, we'll get something done tomorrow and you can have a late release video. Yeah, so uh, as to be expected, it's lunchtime. I haven't got as much done as I wanted to get done. This is just the way it goes with this kind of work. So it's probably going to be tomorrow now for the van. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Adrian, single father to 13 year old twins, John and Ella. Hi. Our journey began in Thailand where I used to work as an underwater cameraman and that's where I met their mom. Tragically, we lost her during the birth in Bangkok. I later moved back to the UK to be closer to family. Now, nine years later, I'm home educating the kids and planning exciting adventures. I've always known the transformative power of travel and I want my children to experience it while they're still young enough to want to go with their old dad. We converted my trusty work van into a cozy camper van to embark on incredible journeys. Our future plan is to upgrade to a bigger van and make a more permanent home in Europe. Join us on our journey as we explore the world, learn and grow together. Yes, yeah, so as predicted, uh, we're on the next day. I um, had to go back to that job. I got quite a bit more done. By the time I got home, I was wiped out. It's so difficult trying to find time to do all this. Um, so today is Saturday, which is the day I would normally release this video. So you're probably going to be seeing it on Sunday because there's no way I'm going to be able to film this, edit this and get it out today. So uh, anyway, all that matters is getting this van done. John is here holding a can of I'm all right. Because <laughs> that is the first job for the day. We are going to get some hammerite on top of this red oxide. But what we're actually going to do, because there's these big holes, there's three of those where the dropouts were, we're going to leave the, around those, leave a circle around those, because I have got a friend who's coming and he is going to weld them for us. We're going to get them welded. Plus, we've also got these vents up in the, the roof here. Now this one, I'm thinking I'm going to put a skylight across because it should be big enough to cover that vent hole. But we've got one here at the front which is in a very annoying place because we want the max air fan to go here. So my friend is going to weld that for us. And he's got a way of drawing the heat away as he's welding, because this is such thin material, it can bend and warp it. But he's very confident he restores old cars for a living. So uh, we'll see how that turns out. He's hopefully coming later this week. So I think for today, John and I will get this hammerite down. We might, I know I keep saying it, but we might look at that visor. There's a visor in the back of the garage over here that I bought on Facebook Marketplace. There it is. Uh, to go across the window, but it came with this bonnet bra thing, which doesn't fit. The guy was adamant that it would fit our van, but it doesn't. So I don't know if the visor will or not. We're going to find out. Um, and then the only other thing is we might have a look at, oh, that was it. We're going to have to pop off to the shops and see if we can get uh, nuts and bolts because up here, can you see through there? Those are the holes that I filled with silicon in the last video. I didn't, they were already filled, but some had a bit of uh, a hole around the edge, so I just put extra silicon. Now, they don't look particularly nice. I don't know if you, can you see if I go like that? Yeah, that's clever. So they're a mess, it works, but what I'd like to do is cut that silicon out, put um, nut and bolt with big washers and loads of Sikaflex around and try and make it look a bit nicer, but also a bit more solid for the future. And that's our way of patching those holes. That's probably what we're going to get done today, I think, in this video. John, are you ready for some action and some hammerite? Yep. 
All right. Ah, oh, what a good lad. All right, we're ready for action there, I think. We'll do the walls first, because then we can stand up and do it. And I think we'll start from that end on our knees next to each other, just like we did the red oxide, and work our way back. That's quite a good match. Wasn't trying to be a match, it just happens to be a match. <laughs> Uh, what happens if you hammer, hammer, hammer right paint on your fingers? Uh, well, that's why I've got gloves on. Put your gloves on. Oh. <laughs> no matter what happens if it gets on your fingers. You'll uh, turn into a cyborg. Can't you tell by the colour? Nothing happens. You okay. just have to wash it off. <laughs> okay, the exciting bit. We get to do the floor. Are you ready, John? Yes. Good stuff. Let's go. <laughs> Success. We uh, thought we were going to run out of paint. We just managed to scrape it right to the very, very end there. But then we realised there's still bits on these doors. <laughs> Whoops. Anyway, there's some places where it could do with a little bit more of a coat. We've got the back doors to do. Plus, obviously, I've left those bits because my friend will be coming to weld those. So there's no point putting paint on because he'll have to grind it back anyway. So I think we're going to take a lunch break, go and buy another tub of paint and then we'll just have to do the doors later. Or actually, are we going to go to B&Q and get the bolts? Because we might as well get the hammer right there as well. Mm -hmm. Should we do that? Sure. Right, we did it. We've been to B&Q. We were gonna take you guys with us, but we completely forgot to bring the camera. Oh well. We have picked up a little teeny weeny baby tub of hammer right to finish off the bits that weren't quite finished. And also, I have bought some whopping grey M10 round-headed bolts. I'll show you them better, better detail when I come to do it. And some big washers as well to fill those holes on the roof I was telling you about, if you remember. Anyway, I'm going to get this paint on and uh, then we'll move on to the roof. Get my little stirring screwdriver again. Now actually, before I forget, I've got to get some on top of this uh, seal rail, whatever you call it, that seam where the seal goes. I need to get a little bit on top of there before I forget, so I'm going straight up there to do that. <laughs> close to a colour match this paint it just happens to be. <laughs> I really, really can't believe it. I thought it'd be very obvious where we've painted but uh, surprisingly not. Now it doesn't matter because everything we've painted is going to be covered up anyway but still it's going to look nice for photos isn't it? Facebook and stuff. Right, I'm going to get these doors done now. Shouldn't take long. Some people just fill in these parts and leave the metal showing. I don't really want to do that. I actually might even wall it off entirely in the back at the head, ed, head end <laughs> of the beds where John and I will sleep, which will be up against these back doors. I haven't decided yet, but I might actually just seal it off completely, wall it off and then we can't even see out. When we open the doors, we can't see out of there. I don't know if that's good or bad. In fact, I'd be interested in your opinions in that. Drop it in the comments below. Do you think we should be able to open these doors up and see out of our beds? Or if I build a wall across at the head of our beds, I could actually leave a, a space in the back there, a little gap, a place like hang jackets and things like that, you know, hooks on the walls, all sorts of storage areas possibilities. 
Um, that way we can't see this back door. There's not gonna be any windows in it anyway, or at least I haven't got any in my plan at the moment in my head. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna go around and do the other side. I don't think you need to see that, do you? No? No. Okay, I am gonna go up and have a look at these holes. So, I'm hoping the washers I've got are big enough. So what I'm going to have to do first of all is cut off all this old silicon and clean up and then we'll see if they're going to fit. Fingers crossed, eh? Now this is the one that had a hole in it and this is where the water was getting through. Oh, that's just a massive globule of silicon. What I could do with some, I could do with something that dissolves uh, silicones. I'm not sure if Multisolf does. Right, I'll tell you what, we're gonna we're gonna see if Multisolf will do it. Ah, oh, that's pretty good what I've done there. Right, there we go. So very clearly, do you know what? Those are factory holes. Those are perfect, and they're painted with the factory paint. All right, if anyone knows, drop it in the comments. Anyone knows about sprinters? There was something on there from the factory that has been removed. Is it an original reversing camera? I don't know. Either way, hmm, I've got to try and fill those, but some of them are going to be tricky because they've got the little holes next to them. Okay, seeing as we forgot to take you to uh, B&Q, we're going to take you to tool station, if that's all right. Screw fix don't have what we need, so we'll get a tool station. Although we probably won't film in there. We're gonna get some multi-solve and I need to get some small locking nuts to fit this size bolt, which I think is an M6. And then I have everything I need to fill those holes and we can have it done today. And that will make me very happy. Will you be happy? Huh? Huh? Yeah, I will. That's teenager speak for pardon. No, 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 for no, no, pardon. no, 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 It's hot. Huh. Huh. will always be hot. Huh. 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 Tool station. Right, you're not coming in, you're waiting here. See you in a minute. Right, we got the multi-solve and we got some nuts. And John giggles every time I say we need to get new nuts. Mm, yeah. Teenagers. Okay, as we are driving back home, I've decided that I need your opinions and comments, please because I have got to make a decision fairly soon. I originally was wanting to go fully electric with this new van build, because the idea of a full electric system running air fryers and induction hobs and things like that sounded quite modern and trendy to me. But I contacted a particular company and they gave me a ballpark figure for what it might cost. And quite honestly, it terrified me. <laughs> I have only got so much that I can really afford to do on this build and that was just out of the question. It just cannot happen. So, to give him his credit, the chap on the end of the line, very nice guy, uh, I won't mention the company because he might <laughs> get in trouble for saying this to me, they're an electric uh, fitting company and for vans obviously and he actually advised, he said, I'll be honest, I would advise you go dual fuel anyway. I would advise having gas and electric, mostly because electrical systems haven't fully got to the point where you should go all electric these days. You can, but it costs so much for the amount of battery power you need and solar power to keep on top of it if you're using air fryers and kettles and things like that. And it's just a redundancy if you ever have a problem with your electric supply you've still got gas there to heat your van heat your water and uh, cook your food so and the expense is the other thing it's a damn sight cheaper to have the gas tank fitted and just have a you know a much more reasonable electric supply 
setup, um, which runs everything basic, like your obviously all your chargers and your lights and uh, anything else you might have, TVs. It really doesn't need quite as much power, obviously. So with that said, I want your opinions. If either you've built a van and you've got an all-electric system, tell me more about it. If you swear by gas, always using gas, tell me more about it. Or if you've not got a van, but you're interested, tell me your opinion. What would you do? I want to hear it down in the comments, please. Whoops, sorry, bashing you about here. I'm driving through town now. I should probably concentrate on driving. Okay, we're back at the van and I've just squirted some of this multi-solve uh, up on the last little remnants of silicon up there. It does say removes most silicon sealants and adhesives safely. Let's see. It works. That's amazing. It just eats through the silicon. And then just because it's the only tool I've got up here, I'm scratching it with my fingernail and <laughs> it's working. Oh, wow. That's good to know. Took a bit of scrubbing as well, but that stuff works brilliantly. So that is super clean now. Only minor issue. I don't know if you can see it with this camera, but yeah, just there. This is obviously factory made holes, so they are painted, but the paint is just chipping ever so slightly there. And because we are going belt and braces on this one, and I do not want any problems with rust later, I'm gonna stick a bit of hammerite on there, let that dry. So I suppose I might as well go and cook some food for this evening. And I guess we'll just have to come out later and seal this up, because we'll have to do it tonight before it rains, of course. Not that it's forecast, but it's England. Anything could happen. Ella has very kindly donated one of her art brushes for this because I don't want to get it on everything. I just want to get it where I want it. So when it dries, we can get it fixed later on. So here we go. Okay, that's looking good. So obviously we can't do anything till that's dried now, but this hammerite seems to dry rather quickly. I don't want to leave it overnight without being done. So I guess we'll go and cook something. Don't feel very hungry though. John and I both had a, a burger and a hot dog at the hot dog stand outside B and Q. Um, if you'd come with us, you'd have known that, but you decided to stay on the coffee table, didn't you? That's not my fault. Um, so we're not very hungry. I'll go and see what Ella wants to do. Okay, we just had a team meeting and because John and I had a little snack while we were out at B and Q and Ella doesn't feel that hungry, we're just gonna get some snacks in later on when we're finished. So, been threatening it for a very, very long time, but I think John and I are gonna have an attempt at this visor. Now it will fit, it just says on the back of it. There it is. It says Sun Visor Sprinter 2006 to 2021. So that covers us, so it does fit. Only thing is it doesn't come with any instructions because I bought it, you know, it was picked up, not second hand, it had never been used, but the guy had bought it and never used it. But it comes with these self-tapping screws. Self-tapping screws usually means drilling into things like metal. I don't want to drill into my van, really, if I can avoid it. So I'm going to start assembling in it and see how uh, assembling it, assembling it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, see what it looks like. I'll just put you there. So after a bit of fumbling around and figuring things out and looking at photos online, I figured out that we need to drill this, which I have done. And I actually have to drill and fit this with these tapping screws into there, which I don't like the idea of because I've just sort of patched up all the holes on this van, but I really want to put this visor on. I've bought it now and I want to put it on. So we're going to do it. I'm just going to do it very carefully. I'm going to put a bit of Sikaflex behind it to stop any moisture getting into these new holes I'm going to make. and. Uh, it's going on, it's going on today. In this video, it's happening. Right, where I've drilled them holes, I am gonna dab a bit of hammer, right? Now where the screw goes through, it's obviously gonna open it up again, but I was a bit scratchy, so I just wanna be sure. I don't like, I've just put hammer right on all the holes in this van and now I've made new holes. It just it doesn't seem right, does it? It's counterproductive. Why am I holding that up like that to you all the time? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. 
I have popped some Sikaflex around the holes. I've popped a bit of Hammerite around the holes there. John has hoovered up all the little shards of metal. It doesn't say anything about putting Sikaflex there, but I believe keep the water off it would be the way to go. So I'm going to screw this up. That's it, holes in the van and brackety things on. Right, John, do you want to just clean off that there and I will see if we can fit it on, shall we? <laughs> right, we are chuffed with that. Did you notice we put the brackets on the wrong way around? Whoops. I put them on the wrong side, so it was ended up with the visor looking like that. Luckily, somehow, miraculously, the holes I drilled in the brackets were exactly the same on both brackets. Now, I'm not blowing my own trumpet, but I'm blowing my own trumpet. I can't believe it. So I was able to just swap them over. <laughs> How miraculous is that? And I think that looks great. It gives it a much nicer look, a bit meaner. It just looked like a standard Merc before. I know there's loads of them with those visors on, but for me, that's a big, big help. I think it looks great. It's getting later in the day. We still haven't eaten, but meow, I think meow. I'm going to push on and do these bolts on the back. I think John's losing interest. He's chasing cats down the street at the moment, but I'm going to do them. I'm going to get these bolts done. We're both burnt out and tired, but we're going to give this a go. John's walking in delirious circles. So I'm going to set the camera up up here. <laughs> See if we can get this done before we pack up. I'll stop, please. Stop, please. Well, you should be able to do it until it, until it touches the metal and the metal will hold it from moving, yeah? Okay, yeah, I should do that then. There we go. That's, nice. That's it. You shouldn't have to move it at all. Right, that's pulling tight there. Oozing. Well, hello and good morning. No, I have not been on the roof of the van all night. Um, <laughs> we were wiped out yesterday evening. The microphones ran out of power, John ran out of power, the camera ran out of power, and we got these nuts and bolts on and just, that was it, done for the day. Straight into bed, it was so late when we got finished. We did 12 hours on this van yesterday, I can't believe it. Anyway, this video is long enough, so I just thought I'd show you quickly what we got done here, because obviously the camera ran out of power and I couldn't show you last night. So, here we go. Now, being a plumber, who prides himself on his silicon work. That's not good enough for me, but it'll have to do because I've just run out of steam and I just had to be finished. So that is filling all those holes. It might not be beautiful, but it's a far more sturdy option than the massive globules of silicon that were in those holes before. So that's that. What else did we do yesterday? Of course, we got all the painting done, which was fantastic. I'm not playing that. And that amazing looking visor. You could do without all the bird poop on the van, that kind of spoils the effect. With a different name. So all that remains is to say thank you so much for watching and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. That helps us out loads. You can hit the like button for free, you can drop us a comment and a super massive thank you to our Patreons. We have Patreons, how fabulous is that? And also all the people who bought us a coffee, that is brilliant, you can learn about that in the links below. Uh, otherwise, we'll be seeing you next week. I've got a couple of weeks off work, so there's definitely going to be getting some jobs done now. Um, that's it. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.